it is time to show you some of this morning's headlines. The Wall Street Journal looks at a bipartisan Senate proposal to replace mortgage giants Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. The plan would create a new government insurance fund. Private insurers would be required to take initial losses before any government guarantee would be activated. The Washington Post says Republican David Jolly won a special election in Florida. Jolly's victory in the race for the Tampa area House seat is seen as a test case for the fall midterms. He campaigned on a pledge to repeal presidents, the president's health care law. And with more than $12 million spent on both sides, it was one of the most expensive House races <clears throat> ever. The New York Times looks at a new report that finds a steep rise in young adults taking medicine for ADHD. The number of people 26 to 34 years old receiving drugs for the disorder doubled to 640,000 between 2008 and 2012. The Columbia Missourian says Ryan Ferguson filed a $100 million lawsuit. He spent nearly a decade in prison before being released in November after court overturned his murder conviction. The lawsuit says police and prosecutors fabricated evidence and bullied witnesses. It was filed on the 10th anniversary of Ferguson's arrest for the death of a Missouri sports editor. And the Houston Chronicle says police are investigating the theft of $600,000 from Pastor Joel Osteen's mega church. $200,000 in cash and $400,000 in checks are missing from a safe at Lakewood Church. Credit card information was also taken.